One of three from the line tonight, missing two earlier on. Well, pretty good numbers this season at the line for this club, right around 78% as a team. Yeah, in general, they've been very solid. I mean, free throw shooting isn't something they've had to worry about too much this season, guys. And again, it's Jimmy. the Lakers. Fellas, in this quarter, he's improved on what was already a very good performance in period number one. Knocked away. And it's the Lakers on the break. The 17-footer. Jordan with the rebound. You just assume he's going to knock those down when he's as open as he was there. Harden dishes to Jordan. We've got 108 left to play here in the half. And Harden wide open. He shoots. And it's off from three-point range. Here's Captain Clutch, guarded by Jordan. That's good. 30 points for Captain Clutch. He is just tearing it up this quarter. That lead's not going anywhere while he's this hot. Two on none. No one back to stop this. And there's a whistle. That's going to go on James Harden. Price is checked in for the late. Johnny Price. 43 seconds left in the first half. Ball. And he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. He always knows where his teammate's going to be. And, Kevin, that will let him put the ball where he wants it, right waiting for him. Now, here is Harden. A 17-point game for him in the win against Phoenix. And he gets the bucket. There's 25 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Knocked loose. Powers the pass to Jordan. Out to the right wing. From outside the arc. Rebounded by the Lakers. Long's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Well, James, throughout the... The Rockets, 21. Your safety is our number one concern in the event of emergency evacuation. Hey, guys. Great execution in the first half, but we still have a few things to talk about before... The second half, big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows down in the third and fourth quarters. And what a tremendous game for Captain Clutch. He's got 30 points and seven big steals, too. I'll tell you what, he's made his mark on this game in so many ways, guys. Yeah, just on the strength of his defense alone, he would have stood out, but his offense has been outstanding as well. Castillo in at the three, and it's Price in at the center, filling out the middle. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Fellas, that's been a go-to shot for him today. Yeah, they found that sweet spot between the paint and the three-point line, and they're knocking a lot of those shots down. Here's Jordan after the main shot from Castillo. And it's Captain Clutch with the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. That's his third first team foul. First team foul. And so here is Houston. They trail by 18. Here's Sims. He's covered by Castillo. It's going to be out of bounds. The Rockets will retain possession. Well, for the past month, it's been quite a three-point shooting display for these small forwards. Just check out their percentages from long range. Take a look at Captain Clutch. He's absolutely deadly from outside. And his range is about as long as it gets. And you better have someone on him as soon as he gets across half court, or he'll drop a bomb on you. As much effort as he expends to get into space on the perimeter as well as he shoots it, when he does get open, opponents may want to give him a little extra attention out there. I mean, you got to know where he is. One guy on him might not be enough. The 17-footer, and he knocks Jimmy. down the jumper. Captain Clutch has got 36. His work at the offensive end has been phenomenal. Maybe reason number one, they're ahead. Houston making a switch. Let's check out how the Lakers stacked up, Kevin. Last month in the NBA statistics. First in steals. First in shooting percentage. And they're number two shooting from the strike. I'd say they've taken advantage of the charity at the free throw line. 
Yeah, Clark, this is a team that's scared because of that steals number that you talked about. Uh, they're so good at anticipating plays. They seem to have a good scheme defensively, night in and night out. They know their roles. They make the rotations. They read the passing lanes. And they frequently get out there, make steals, and then get out in their transition game. Rockets are gone. One of three since starting the second half. Knocked away. One-on-one -on -one fast break. And the Lakers take on two more. Everything's falling now, and this lead continues to increase. Yeah, it's just way too hard to keep up with a scoring pace like this. I mean, and that's why the defense is having a tough time. And so here is Houston. Here's Grove. The shot will not go. Good D by Price. And they've been off target now on three of the first four shots they've taken in this second half. Here's Captain Clutch, guarded by Hart. Shots good for Gaston. Boy, they are as hot as can be from mid-range. They're getting run off that three-point line, but they're taking advantage and knocking down those middle-range shots. Steve, they've banged home eight of their last ten points on pull-up jumpers. So a moment now to see the story on James Harden. His last 10 games, he's averaging 10 points per game, five assists, and four rebounds. And some pretty good numbers, I think, guys, when you look overall at his contributions. Yeah, and he's always looking to raise his game, and that's what you see in his consistency. One of the important characteristics that he brings to the table. I'll tell you what, shooting 20% to start the second half doesn't bode well for how this will play out for this squad. And it's off the back rim, no good. And for Houston, they're shooting about 33%, not happy with their play on that end. That's good. Jordan's got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. Boy, such outstanding patience and decision-making for them offensively. Yeah, absolutely. Their ball movement has been outstanding. They are piling up the assists. Got him with the puck fake. Set and he's right there. 44 points for Captain Clutch. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. To the left side wing. Doubled by Castillo. And that one's good. He has six. Well, we've seen that more than a few times. An easy bucket in the lane. Yeah, the interior defense simply has been lifeless. High post try. That's good. That's really set them apart today. Has that success from the mid-range. Well, these are two teams that clearly... You've seen the difference in offensive philosophies here. And so it's Houston with it. Doubled by Castillo to the left side wing. And out of bounds is Los Angeles Kings possession. Well, that's inexcusable to throw a nice shooting. Here's the Lakers with the ball. They're on a 16-7 run. Rockets have gone a somewhat so far, 4 of 10, on their shots in the second half so far. Out to the wing. Powers the pass to De La Cruz. Grove, good in defending. Carson grabs the board. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area they just can't afford to get lazy with. You know, I think the effort's been there, Steve, but they're still getting outworked just by a scope. They're making this a runaway. Now, the only question now is how big will this lead eventually become? I mean, this is a blowout. Nichols passes to Castillo. Los Angeles with another miss. Here's Jordan. The shot misses. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. How about the creativity? Guys, terrific vision to pick out that pass and set up the basket. Some serious creativity. Taking a look at the Rockets, they've got Nash. And it's Ruiz in at the shooting guard position. Nash, the pass to Ruiz. Poked away. And they're pushing it up. A baseline J. No good from Castillo. 
The Rockets shooting just 35%. They've got to get better looks. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Lakers. For mid-range, it's been a very nice game for them. I mean, they've been finding the bottom of the net a lot. The other thing they're doing, guys, is forcing turnovers and then creating points offensively as a result. Rose is checked in for Houston. Lakers leading by 23. 17 foot shot on the way. That one wide left. Poked away. Nash with it. Now defended by Castillo. Passes to Ruiz. Back to Nash. Just five to shoot. Wide open look. And that's good for two. Yes. A few Nash. possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played to the right side. Here's Castillo. Hits the three point pop. Captain Clutches got 49 points in the game. He is just eating this team alive with his offense. It's been a matchup nightmare. Ruiz, the pass to Rose. And it's Captain Clutch with the foul. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. It's his fourth foul, and I'm sure he picked it up a little earlier than he would have liked. Houston, a whole new five on the floor. Sims. And it's off from three-point range. Lakers have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Stolen by Harden. The pass to Benjamin. Back to Harden. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. Boy, the kind of moments you love to see. Excellent defense leading to a dunk at the other end. Clark, you got to marvel at the transition game when they've got it clicking. It's really explosive. High octane for sure. Oof. They're turning defensive pressure into offensive opportunities. That's what it's all about. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. They double him with Jordan. No good from Castillo. You know, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. Free throw good from Harden. Harden hits them both. Some great free throw shooting so far in this second half. I think they should keep trying to initiate contact and get back to the line until they start missing from there. But as it is, they're perfect so far, so keep it up. The shot's good from Gaston. Had so much space there, and the defense really not showing him the respect. You can see his eyes get wide. To the inside, Simmons. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Boy, he picked him out brilliantly with that feed inside. Lakers leading by 20. Pass to Castillo. There's the three. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. And he may be the guy to put this team even farther out of reach. For Houston, they've gone three or four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Sims kicks to Jordan. Shoots. That one rolling around and rims out. Well, I think he kind of alligator arm that one. Short stroke. After doing a nice job to get open, he didn't finish the shot. No good from Castillo. Jordan with it. Another steal. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Yep, he's their leading scorer, Kevin, in this game. And he's been the dominant figure today, no doubt about it. Now, here is Harden. Here's Benjamin. And he takes that one up and powers it through. It's a good thing he showed up today because without him, this team would be in big trouble. Passes it to Castillo. Again, Los Angeles. He's finding all kinds of ways to get it done. What a quarter he's having. For Houston, they've gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. Here's the break. From 12 feet out, and the Lakers take on two more. Pretty hard to find fault with anything he's doing this quarter, at least at the offensive end. And for Houston, they're shooting not great, 40% for the game. 
Launches it. And good. On the basket.